Today on WFMS, we have some reminders and dates to be aware of as we return and begin our week. Teens for Christ will be meeting tomorrow morning. The Board Game and Chess Club will be meeting tomorrow. We have another installment of our Tech Talk Tuesday segment. The Guitar Club will be meeting this afternoon. We have a few sports updates to report today, so stay tuned. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. I'm Hadley. And I'm EC. Welcome to your home for news announcements and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. TFC Teens for Christ will be meeting tomorrow morning in the Studio Theater from 7.50 to 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Underwood, Mrs. Wright, or Mr. Brewer. The Board Game and Chess Club is a great place to hang with friends and enjoy a good time around a board game or chess game. Come join us tomorrow and every Wednesday from 3.45 to 4.30 and remember that our club is open to students in all grades. Music is in the air. On Tuesdays, our FMS Guitar Club, Strumming and Picking, will be meeting today and every Tuesday from 3.30 to 4.15. The club will meet in Mr. Ledford's room in Blue A 143. 6th grade book club members listen up. The book club will meet after school on April 11th to discuss Alan Gratz's two degrees. You should, you should plan to have your rides by 4.30. That's it for announcements. Now for our Tech Talk Tuesday. I'm Olivia. And I'm Heidi. Now for our Tech Talks Tuesday segment. In our Tech Talk Tuesday segments, we continue to provide information and encouragement for our students and teachers to be informed about tech trends and the ins and outs of digital citizenship and making wise online decisions. Today, we will begin another series looking at general and mental health and social and digital media. Hey Heidi, do you remember Mr. Mr. Hambrick saying that our phones and digital media should be a helpful tool for us and that a tool is something we could choose to pick up and use when we need it? I remember that. And then he said our phones and the digital media that it can connect us with are no longer tools because our phones and media demand that we pick it up and use it. He asked us, when was the last time a tool like a hammer or tool demanded that we pick them up and use them? That would be never. Hey Heidi, do you feel like your phone tries to control you with beeps, buzzes, dings, and all of your notifications? Yes, I do feel like it, do, it does try to control me with the notifications, but I've learned to, take, to turn it off and try not to pay as much attention to that. But my phone will still send me notifications on things I don't like or don't want. Hey Olivia, how about you? Do you feel like your phone tries to control you with beeps, buzzes, dings, and all of your notifications? Yes, I do, but sometimes I turn it off because it gets annoying when it keeps trying to beat me and get me to pick up my phone when I really don't want to. I know, it feels weird thinking about our phones and, and all our media that way. Well, let's take a look at this first video about the pitfalls of our devices and the media. So you're reading an article online when you get an instant message with a link to a funny photo, which of course you have to share. And now you're reading your Facebook news wall, which sends you to a video of a panda bear attacking a kid. And now you're reading Wikipedia to learn everything you can about the violent behavior of panda bears. And this is what three minutes on the internet can be like. We live like this all the time, and it has to have some kind of effect on us. The net is making us more superficial as thinkers. That is Nicholas Carr. He is the author of The Shallows, What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains. To understand this whole thing better, we need to go way back in time to, say, like, the prehistoric age. You wanted to know everything going on around you because the more you knew about your surroundings, the less likely you were to get attacked by a predator. And there's even evidence that our brains release some dopamine, pleasure-producing uh, neurotransmitter chemical, to reward us for seeking out and finding new information. <laughs> so getting distracted felt good and helped us stay alive. But the problem is that nowadays, predators aren't much of an issue, but we still have the same brains. 
And also, there's the internet, which is... It's an incredibly information-rich environment uh, that the net creates for us, and that's why we use it so much. I, I mean, sounds, pictures, words, text. And what this tends to do is, is promote a sort of compulsive behavior in which we're constantly checking our smartphone, constantly glancing at our email inbox. We're kind of living in this perpetual state of distraction and interruption. Which is dangerous because... That mode of thinking crowds out the more contemplative, calmer modes of thinking. And that focused, calm thinking is actually how we learn. It's a process called memory consolidation. And that means the transfer of information from our short-term working memory to our long-term memory. And it's through moving information from your working memory to your long-term memory that you create connections between that information and everything else you know. So you've got this awesome life-changing piece of information in your short-term memory, but then you hear that email ding and poof, there it goes. That email takes its place and you never get a chance to learn anything, all because of one distraction. So attention is the key, and if we lose control of our attention or are constantly dividing our attention, uh, then we don't really enjoy that consolidation process. But I can hear it now. Someone out there is saying, uh, what does learning matter if all the information in the world is just a Google search away? Well... Um, that is kind of shortchanging our intellects. If that's the way you're using your mind, just kind of searching very quickly and finding information and then forgetting it very quickly, you're never building knowledge. You're simply, you're, you're kind of thinking like a computer. Which means that our very humanity is at stake. And it would be a shame if we all got assimilated because, well, humanity is pretty neat. I really believe that if you look at the great monuments of, of culture, they come from people who are able to pay attention, who control their mind. That's what allows us to think in the highest terms, in, in, think conceptually, think critically, uh, think in some very creative ways. And it's this kind of thinking that's at risk, being eroded one cute cat video at a time. Don't get us wrong, the internet is good for lots of things, and it should be celebrated. But the best thing we can do for our minds is to find some time every day to unplug, calm down, and focus on one thing at a time. Your email and those cats will be here when you get back. I hope this video has given you a little perspective on the risk of overuse of our technology. Next week, we will continue our discussions and video series as we explore the subject more in depth. That's it for our Tech Talk Tuesday. Stay tuned for next week as we dive deeper into the world of social networks and internet safety. Now for a quick sports update. Hi, I'm Hadley. And I'm Heidi. And I'm EC. And I'm Olivia. Now for a quick sports update. <laughs> we have a couple of scheduling announcements for you today. Farragut Boys Lacrosse will take on ESK on Saturday, April 15th at the Farragut Lacrosse Fields and will begin at 10 a.m. Farragut Boys Soccer Team C will have their next game on Thursday, April 13th against Alcoa. They will play at McPhee Park at 7 p.m. Please plan to come out and cheer on both teams if you can. As we close our sports today, please take a look at our baseball schedule slides for this week's games. It also helps to have our FMS fans at our games, so we hope to see many of you there. Let's take a look. That's it for sports. Now back to the news desk. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day. And evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And we, and we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.